What's up everyone, this is Ben here from Halo Waffles and today I'll be showing you another Halo Wars 2 strategy. Today I'll be focusing on um, Sergeant Forge and his awesome hero which is the Warthog. And we're going to kick some ass really. We're going to show you this rush which consists of mainly Marines, the, war the hero Warthog and about six-ish Hellbringers. So what you want to do is you want to make a supply pad and straight away a jackrabbit and you send some marines off to get some power and then the other ones to get some supply crates and second you'll want um, a generator you need to upgrade the supply pad as soon as it's up after unlocking rolling economy which is vital for this strategy because really it makes everything more affordable and you get things quicker. And we'll send the jackrabbit to go get some supplies. And soon after the generator has been constructed, you'll want to upgrade it as soon as it hits 240. And then where the jackrabbit is, you want to take a mini base, preferably about the minute mark ish. For this strategy to work, supply constantly need supply pads as well, which is a bit of a pain because you constantly need to micromanage for this strategy to work. Right. So we're also going to have to take a power node before this gets up and rolling. Upgrade your second supply pad and make an armory. Now this mini base, you'll want to make another supply pad. Send your jackrabbit to get these power crates. Oh, preferably these supplies actually. Armory we may as well send the jackrabbit oh, yeah, over here. Just get this mini base. Upgrade rolling economy. Get your forge hog out. Start spamming a few marines. That's what you're gonna do here. And since you can, you take this at about 2.30 mark. I'm gonna go take some supplies with the jackrabbit, so remember micromanaging is key here. Enemy unit sighted. And I don't really like this map because of the bridge. Alright, we'll withdraw the jackrabbit. Rally point set. Ready to serve. And you can't upgrade your armory as well. And once this mini base is complete, you want a barracks, so we can start spamming out a few Hellbringers. And make sure you're constantly pumping out Marines. Sound off, Marines. It's huge for this strategy. Stand two, troops. We want to take this node here. Rare to go. Marines, eyes on me. Go round upgrade complete. Marines, ready to serve. Alright, so now what, what you want to do Stand two, troops. is you want to put your rally point on the Warthog. And as soon as we've got this point, we're going to go and um, start the aggression early on. About 40 ish minutes. Yes, sir! So we're going to send most of our Marines over here now. And make sure you constantly making more and more marines and once you can destroy the armory the first it with a generator constantly spam hellbringers key part of this strategy and now about 4.30ish 
when you've got a pretty big army, you want to go and attack the enemy base and start the aggression whilst constantly spamming units which follow just so that if anything goes wrong you have more stuff coming in and constantly be upgrading your stuff as well so we'll take out that second base here I need to do this as quick as we can because he's going to be trying to get um, Mantises out on us because we're against Sergeant um, Johnson. So as soon as you're done here you want to go straight over to their main while still spamming units. They've came prepared, they've got snipers so what you're going to want to do is you're going to anvil around the snipers. That was a waste of a leader ability there. Eyes on me, Marines! They tried to lure us away. Constantly spam units. It's absolutely vital that you do. And they're really, really annoying me right now. Alright, so they're taking out an awful lot of our units here. Which is terrible for us. Right, so now about 7 ish minutes for an upgrade your base. Alright, so as soon as you've got HQ Tech 2, you want to go air pad and an armory. You want to scatter your stuff out around the base so that they can't just use a single leader ability and wipe all your stuff out. Right, make sure you send your Forge Warthog over to deal with the snipers if they have any. Because it, it really can't be damaged by snipers as it's a vehicle. So we check out their main. I suspect that they're at one of the other bases. So that's uh, where we'll be going. Get a few Hornets, yep. So it's pretty much game now. As soon as we take this out, we win and then that's Forge Rush for you. Enemy Unless they've taken another base up this way. Also, if you really want, you can upgrade your marine abilities, but I don't think it's that necessary. Unless you're against someone who you know will rush you. Our new sergeant 
Johnson really couldn't because the lead of Eddie is, he's a mid-game leader. If I was against an Arbiter or something, then I'd make sure to do that. So we're going to use Vehicle Drop, get in some Kodiaks. Go for that best. I'm gonna upgrade to combat tech, and then we should definitely have this game. They, they don't stand a chance at all. Now we've got Kodiaks pounding them. We've got our whole army there. Hornets are on the way. I just don't see them come back from this. Combat mechanic research. So this has been the guide for you guys. Kind of show you how this strategy works. Now do what you will with this strategy. If you want to adjust it, you can do that. We're gonna make sure they have reclaimed this one. Found an enemy structure on my patrol. Over. They have claimed this one up over at the top here, so make sure to go take that one out. After we've dealt with this one down here. And already we're pretty much unstoppable. I don't see what they're gonna to do to Stop us here. That's gonna scar. And I was so great. They just got annihilated and I don't see what they can do. I don't even know why they're hanging in here. I just find it really stupid that they're trying right now. All systems checked and calibrated. I have a on the enemy. So the Kodiaks are just going to make easy work of this base. We're going to claim this as soon as we can. These two are going to move up there just so we can take all the bases. And our economy is far superior. Our map holds far superior. I don't know what they're going to do. Yeah, that they're out. Rare in to go. Base is under attack. Uh, of course, right away. Go time. Trying stuff. So we're just gonna end them here. As we've Well, we've got them the Kodiaks now. I don't see what they're gonna do here. Under attack. Oh well, they could try that. That might be a problem. Yeah, they're just giving up. There was literally nothing they could do. This video only dragged on because I thought they were so good. Only ranked 12, so we can see why they got obliterated. But in the last video we did destroy it at rank 93. And I can tell you these strategies do work. Because the last load of games I've won I've been testing with this Sergeant Ford strategy. Played five games and only lost one. Okay, so thank you for watching and I'll see you all next time.